ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट और जीडीपी व्हाट इज जीडीपी ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट और जीडीपी इज मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल फाइनल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज प्रोड्यूस्ड विद इन डोमेस्टिक टेरिटरी ऑफ ए कंट्री ड्यूरिंग ए पीरियड ऑफ वन ईयर सो द मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल फाइनल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज में बी इंटरमीडिएट गुड्स विच आर यूज एज रॉ मटीरियल टू प्रोड्यूस अदर गुड्स और फाइनल गुड्स विच में बी कंज्यूम्ड और यूज एज कैपिटल गुड्स सो हियर वी हैव टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन ओनली द फाइनल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज नॉट द इंटरमीडिएट एंड दीज गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज आर प्रोड्यूस्ड विद इन डोमेस्टिक टेरिटरी ऑफ ए कंट्री नॉट आउटसाइड द कंट्री and period is normally one year so market value of all final goods and services produced within domestic territory of a country during a period of one year is called gdp or gross domestic product now gdp also includes the amount of depreciation or we can also call it consumption of a capital let us see this gdp is represented by production both by the resident entities and non resident entities so it is a territory concept let us see this graph here we have a country called india in india or in domestic territory of india whatever is being produced by residents that is indians or whatever is produced by non resident that is of foreigners that is taken into consideration so far gdp is concerned so here it is final goods and services they are market value produced within the domestic territory of a country we have another concept called net domestic product out of gdp if the amount of depreciation amount of consumption of capital it is reduced what we get is net domestic product there is another concept called gross national product gross national product is gdp adjusted for net factor income from abroad now what is net factor income from abroad so net factor income from abroad we can see here so here we have value of gdp it is to be adjusted for net factor income from abroad how that adjustment will be made so in the gdp we shall add the production by indians abroad or indian entities abroad and out of gdp we shall reduce we shall deduct the production by foreign entities in india or foreigners in india so the gap of these two is called net factor income from abroad so after adjusting net factor income from abroad to gdp what we get is gnp gross national product now this also shows that gnp is a nationality concept instead of a territory concept so in gdp we take into consideration the production of goods and services by the citizens of that country so it is citizen concept nationality concept whereas gdp is a territory concept so gnp is equal to gdp plus or minus net factor income from abroad that is adjusted for net factor income from abroad if net factor income from abroad is positive this mean this is greater than this then gnp will be greater than gdp so if this is more this is less gnp will be higher compared to gdp on the other hand if this is less than production by foreigners in india then gnp will be smaller than gdp 
so when net factor income from abroad is positive GNP is larger when net factor income from abroad is negative then GDP is larger net factor income from abroad so factor income from of residents of India abroad minus factor income of foreigners in India so production by Indians abroad minus production by foreigners in India what we get is net factor income from abroad that is how NFIA is calculated so when we say NFIA when we say production by Indian production by foreigners we mean to say net compensation of employees net income from property and entrepreneurship and net retained earnings of resident companies abroad so NFIA is simply not production it is simplified version so when we say production by Indians abroad production by foreigners then we take into consideration all these three net national product how do we calculate net national product so out of GNP if we adjust the value of depreciation we reduce the amount of depreciation we get gross national product now here is another example to be more clear Suzuki of Japan produces cars in India and Infosys technology and Indian company provides software services in US how their production will be considered in different countries let us see Suzuki's production in India is part of GDP of India but it is part of GNP of Japan because Suzuki is Japanese company so its production for the purpose of GNP of Japan will be considered so Suzuki of Japan produces cars in India and Infosys technology provides software services in US Suzuki's production India becomes part of GDP of India because it is produced in India but and it becomes GNP of Japan Infosys services provided in US is part of GDP of US but it is a part of GNP of India so GDP does not include net factor income from abroad so that is how this concept of GDP can be explained thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have been benefited by the contents of the video thank you once again